so frankly, they say, sir, sir, Joe Biden is calling you great people. Ultra MAGA, this is his new thing, Bumbly Joe, could barely get three words out, so this is actually pretty smart for him, but it's pretty smart. Ultra MAGA, nobody knows what the hell he's talking about, like an ultra cigarette, like an ultra or something, which frankly means bigger and better, right? These people are great, they're ultra great, we'll say that, but he's so stupid, he's so slow. And maybe altruistic, he means, because frankly, I'm altruistic because I'm helping people make so much money. And he's just destroying the country. And so old, he's frankly does a great impression of Amber Heard. Are you watching this trial? He does a great Amber Heard impression because, frankly, he's shitting the bed. He's shitting the bed all over. And the bed is the country, and he's shitting it just like Amber Heard. He's leaving frankly herd turds all over the country so he's ultra shitting the bed we'll say that all right guys so we got to talk about an interesting clip that i stumbled across um that really made me think about the democrats right and their promise when they got into the white house that they were going to be the party of the adults right they were going to bring the country together they were going to promote unity however uh we all know that that has not happened right in fact they've divided this country even more because they've done nothing but spew hate and vitriol towards people who don't agree with them right uh particularly people who don't agree with the far left progressives okay which i mean that's basically what the biden administration has become right they're, they're far left progressive <laughs> administration regardless of biden's past as a conservative democrat um so with that being said again i stumbled across this interesting clip from louis ck in which he basically rips the democrats for shitting on trump supporters and i thought that what he said was so true and so profound that i would share it with you guys as the democrats and joe biden continue to ratchet up the insults towards people that disagree with them so without further ado let's go ahead and play this clip of louis ck discussing how it's a bad idea for the democrats to keep talking down to trump supporters take a look i think a huge mistake that the democrats made was to shit on his on the people who loved him that's a, a dumb fucking yeah they can't stop doing it basket of deplorable they can't stop doing i mean it. it's just the stupidest thing you can do the thing that progressives do that i've never seen in all of these years we've talked about never seen a political movement do is assign people to the other side yeah you what clinton did what anybody running for president uh, Nixon did it. You could see examples of all of them when they talked, like especially when they started doing town halls, which was a great addition to. Yeah, it. they would say somebody would stand up and say, "I, I, um, I don't want to vote for you because I'm a Democrat, and because I think you're, you know, whatever." And they go, "Okay, tell me, what does that mean to you being a Democrat?" Yeah. Well, uh, the economy is very important to me, and healthcare, and I want people to be taken care of when they're older, sick. And he goes. I, I'm afraid to tell you, but you're a Republican. That's what yeah. that's what that's what people do is like come here. I've got I've got the same. I'm like you. You're like me more than you understand. Now and they they hedge it. They go like, now I'm not. In, I don't I don't agree with my opponent's sure. bill for health care, but I have the same concern as you do about health care. I have the same values you do. We're like you should vote for me. But what progressives do is they you you actually say to them, I'm a progressive. Yeah, and they go really. Prove it. Well, I'm for gay marriage. What do you mean gay? What do you mean marriage? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You are a Trump. They like tell yeah. other people that they belong to Trump. They give him. Yeah. They push people away. They push everyone to him. Because the goal is not actually to win and to change the country, which is a ugly, difficult to really change the country is a gray, difficult, boring, bureaucratic uh unsatisfying slow business and people want to be able to make it happen like this i can this i can just and they're not trying to make something happen they're just trying to feel they're trying to show what yeah. they think and perform what they are and and just get it and they're addicted it's a sickness i feel sorry for them i don't yeah so i think louis ck is 100 percent <laughs> right okay because uh, i've talked about this a thousand times how uh on the left, the progressive left, and the Democrat Party as well, too, at this point, right? Let's be real. Um, if you don't agree with them 100%, if you're not on board with their agenda, um, then they basically say, hey, you know what? You're not a Democrat. Uh, you're not a progressive. 
In fact, you're actually a Trump supporter, right? They've done this with uh, Bill Maher, okay? They say that guy's conservative now. Joe Rogan's conservative. Joe Manchin's a Republican. <laughs> Kirsten Sinema's a Republican, right? A anybody that disagrees with them apparently is a, a Republican. And the reason why is because they shipped it so far left outside of the mainstream, they don't even realize it, right? They don't even understand it, okay? They don't realize they've actually left most people behind. But they feel like they're the mainstream, okay? Simply because the mainstream liberal media agrees with them and they don't understand that the mainstream liberal media is not a representation of how America actually views things, right? That's why you have so many people that are just like, okay, you know what? <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of liberal um, and I used to be a Democrat, but the Democrat party has pushed me away, <laughs> right? The Democrats have told me that I'm a racist, sexist, homophobic bigot because I don't have far left <laughs> social views, Right, that, that is what is happening. They're pushing people out of their party instead of welcoming people in simply because uh, they have small disagreements with the far left and their woke ideology. Right, that, that, that is what is happening. Okay, and this is not just something that is happening with the wokes on the ground, this is something that is happening at the highest levels in politics. Right, um, as Joe Biden, right, and the Democrats, uh, they found a new way <laughs> to basically try to alienate Trump supporters, people who, again, a lot of Trump supporters used to be Democrat voters, right, particularly uh, ones in the, in the Midwest that have been negatively affected by jobs being shipped overseas, right, um, you know, people that Trump really appealed to, working class folks. The Democrats are now calling people <laughs> who disagree with them and or Trump supporters ultra MAGA. <laughs> Take a look. Senator Rick Scott of Florida, United States Senator, who's leading the Republican National Senatorial Campaign Committee, released what he calls the ultra-MAGA agenda. It's a MAGA agenda, all right. Let me tell you about this ultra-MAGA agenda. It's extreme, as most MAGA things are. Look, the bottom line is this. Americans have a choice right now between two paths, reflecting two very different sets of values. My plan attacks inflation and grows the economy by lowering costs for working families, giving workers well-deserved raises, reducing the deficit by historic levels, and making big corporations and the very wealthiest Americans pay their fair share. The other path is the ultra-MAGA plan put forward by congressional Republicans to raise taxes on working families, lower the income of American workers, Threaten sacred programs Americans count on like Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, and give break after break to big corporations and billionaires. Thank you. Um, the, the president and you have talked about the MAGA crowd or the ultra MAGA. Um, how does that jive with his desire to be the bipartisan guy? Well, the president's view is you can do both. He believes that there is work we can continue to do together. We're, we're actively advocating for. He was out traveling in uh, just last Friday on the uh, Bipartisan Innovation Act. We believe that needs to move forward. It should move forward. Uh, and that can, be, can build on the nearly 80 bills that we signed into law last year that are bipartisan. But he's also not going to stand by uh, and not call out what he sees as uh, ultra-MAGA uh, behavior, ultra-MAGA policies um, that are out of the mainstream of the country and are not in the interest of the American people, whether that is efforts to prevent a woman from making choices about her own health care, or whether that is Chairman Scott's uh, policy and proposals on uh, that would raise taxes on people making less than $100,000 a year. Yeah, so the new insult, right, and I'm saying insults and quotations because I don't really see this as, as an insult. They think it's an insult, but it's really not an insult. Uh, for people that disagree with them, Trump supporters is ultra MAGA, right? It is the new basket of deplorables. Right. It's a term they're using to describe people uh, who disagree with them on policy and social issues. Right. That, that's what they're doing. Again, just another way to divide the country and say, hey, you know what? There's a whole group of people in this country that I just don't want to vote for me. Right. I don't want you to vote for me. I'm not your president. Right. I'm not trying to do what's in your best interest. I don't like you. You're racist, sexist, homophobic, bigots. F off. Right. That, that's what he's saying. But the problem is this. They're doing this as a way to appeal to a even smaller crowd of people because uh, the amount of Trump supporters in this country is very significant, right? We're talking about like at least 25 to 35% of people, okay? Uh, at least 75% of the Republican Party, okay? 
Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. These are the people he's saying, I don't want to appeal to you guys. Even though a lot of these people used to be Democrat voters, we don't want to appeal to you simply because you like Trump, right? Simply because you vote Trump. Instead, we want to appeal to far left extremists um, who are radicals and trying to destroy our country and our institutions and our democracy and our constitution, right? Again, we're talking about a small crowd of people that are maybe just maybe five to ten percent of the country. Okay, that that's what the Democrats are, are doing, right? That, that they're actively choosing to say, "Damn, the thirty-five percent of the country to get in bed with ten percent of the country," right? Uh, the most extreme of the extreme, okay? And like Louis C.K., the point that he was making here is like, Biden's not even trying to reach across the aisle and to try to say, hey, listen, guys, I understand exactly what you're going through. I understand your pain. And I want to appeal to you guys. I want to let you guys know that I'm on your side. We're on the same team. We're just alike. He's not even trying to do that. He's telling these people, no, you're not like me. You're ultra MAGA, right? <laughs> ultra MAGA, Okay. And that is the grave mistake that Democrats keep making for whatever reason. They're pushing people out of their party, right? They're pushing people to the other side, okay? You can't be on our team. And you can't win like that. You you can't, right? I mean, I'm kind of happy that they're doing that. But at the same time, I'm just saying, this is what they're doing, right? And, and they just continue to do it over and over and over and over again. And this is why they're rapidly losing support. Right. This is why they're going to get blown out in the midterms come 2022 and probably come 2024 as well, too. Guys, I told you, I don't think the Democrats are going to have power again like this uh, for another 10 years. Right. I, I think they're doing that badly. OK, this is not the time where you can just sit here and start coming up with new insults for people who disagree with you for 35 percent of the country <laughs> saying that they're ultra MAGA. Right. Basically trying to say that they're extremists. Again, we're talking about 35 percent of this country. OK, um, so. With that being said, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.